Hello everybody, this is Deshaun Johnson for DeshaunJohnson.com and today I am making a quick video. I wanted to do a quick product review of the Black & Decker, Black & Decker 40 Watt Juice Extractor. Now this is actually the first juicer that I ever owned in my life. I actually was going on Amazon looking for like portable juicers because the only juices I actually really seen was really the Breville or Beville, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but most juicers are like $200, $300 for like, I guess the best quality juicers. And I guess you think with that high amount of money it being that expensive, it's probably the best juicers on the market. Well, actually with, I've only used this already a couple of times and this is produced some really good juice. So um, the cost right now from Amazon for it that I paid was about $43 with the um, three dollar two year protection plan on it so it's been a really good deal now this part of the video is the only time you're going to see my face because I actually want the focus to be on the actual process of making the juice uh, cutting up the vegetables which for this juicer because it's pretty compact you actually have to cut the vegetables and fruits into smaller pieces and I'll actually show you guys that here in just a little bit so uh, without further ado let's go ahead and let's get started juicing all right so we are back and today what we're going to be making simply is just carrot juice with some strawberry infusion all right so i want to actually just really show you how to cut and clean the strawberries and carrots which is a pretty simple process you basically are just going to cut them and just rinse them off in some water here i have a grater here um, rice colander whatever you want to call it strainer um, and i'm actually going to put all my cut fruits and vegetables in that to make sure that i wash them thoroughly so let me go ahead and cut some of these tips off of these carrots here. Okay. So I'm gonna cut that. Okay, now with the carrots, I'm going to actually cut down the middle because uh, the actual part that you insert the fruits and vegetables, the if I actually put the carrots in just kind of hole like this it'll, it'll actually be a little bit harder to get it into the narrow mouth of the actual juicer part the actual compact part so we're going to cut it up in half like this um, actually I can actually leave it long because we're going to actually have the pusher to push down on that don't forget to cut your end pieces okay that wasn't a good cut so I'll just cut that more okay now I'll cut one more carrot and I think you guys will get the idea as far as the actual cutting process here and this carrot is a bit hard all right now I'll cut this other carrot up in a second, actually just for the sake of making this video, so when we're going to keep things long, let me go ahead and cut the strawberry. Same thing with the strawberries, we're going to cut the ends off, cut it down the middle, make it easy to go down the chute, and you'll actually see what I'm talking about when we actually go over to the juicer. Okay, we're going to cut just so you guys can actually see, cut it down the middle and make it easier to actually go in the juicer. So, okay, probably cut up a few more strawberries now. Okay. Now, not to bore you to death with just cutting up fruits and vegetables, let's go ahead and let's watch what we already have. Of course, for the sake of this video, I'm only giving you an example. So we're going to go over here to the sink. Let's go ahead and go to the kitchen sink real quick. Mind me. Okay. So we're going to rinse some cool water. Just rinse it out. Shake that up a little bit. Should get all that water out of there. All right. Now I'll just put this back over here on my area. Now, 
okay? So we got our fruits, we got our strawberries, we got our carrots. I actually have some ginger, uh, which let me go ahead and get that out the refrigerator. Bring that back over here. Took long enough. Okay. I actually have some ginger roots. I'm only going to cut a piece of it. Let me go ahead and hold it out so you can see what it looks like. Okay. So we're going to cut. Okay. Let's go ahead and cut our pieces of our ginger root. Now, now ginger is pretty strong. I really don't need that much ginger, but I'm only going to cut. Okay, I'm only going to cut just bits and pieces and this still may be too much. So you only need about, uh, now I'm probably only going to use these two pieces. Uh, go ahead and I'll rinse these off. Okay, just a light touch. We'll put that in and we, uh, we have, ladies and gentlemen, our cut carrots, strawberries, and a couple of pieces of ginger root. Right, so let's go ahead and go to the final step that you've been waiting for and that is to get a glimpse of what this juicer can actually do and what it looks like. Alright ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for the actual juicing process, the actual Black & Dex Decker juice extractor. So, everything's plugged in. I'll go ahead and show you how to actually detach all the pieces in order to clean it once we get done juicing I just want to go ahead and go to the juicer because you heard me talk enough and you heard me you already seen me go through the cutting process so let's actually just go straight to how this baby works okay so first thing that we're going to do we're going to remove the actual juice pusher which is what I'm just calling it for now we're going to remove this out okay we're going to go ahead and turn it on which is on the side right here okay hold on one second here oh Silly me, I don't have it plugged in, so that is my fault, ladies and gentlemen. That is my fault. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's try this again. see it's just that juice is flowing nicely and you can actually see why just wanted to let you know this is why I cut the carrots in half because we can see just based off of how this is designed okay we couldn't fit a whole carrot in just like this I mean you could but you're going to actually have a whole heck of a time trying to get it through this narrow mouth so let's go ahead and let's finish juicing Just about all of our fruits, all of our strawberries, all of our carrots, um, and we already have just about eh, three fourths of a glass of juice here so far. So got about three fourths. And like I said, for the sake of this video, I still have some more carrots that I'm gonna actually add to this, and some strawberries. I actually want to make it a full glass. I actually want to make it pretty, you know, a uh, nice size glass. Is basically, what I'm trying to say. So let me go ahead and do that and I will meet you guys over at the sink to show you how to actually clean this juice extractor. Alright, so I really feel like I need to add this segment into the video. I really don't want this to be an excuse as to why you don't really want to use your juicer. So 
um, because a lot of people don't like to watch the dishes. So before I even get into breaking down the juicer and showing you how to clean it, I want to actually show you my kitchen area, my workstation right now. I'm in the process of preparing it. So you want to come up with a system for washing your dishes because a lot of people don't like to wash their dishes and I, I completely understand that. So right here we have my, this part right here is where I keep my clean dishes. I need to go ahead and put that up. That's the first thing. Second, I have a sink that has a few dirty dishes in it, a dirty pot over here. So once I actually get done cleaning this part off, so this is first, put all the dishes up where they go, you know, a place for everything and everything in this place. I think that came off of a cartoon or something. I can't really remember. Then go ahead and just move your dishes, find a workstation space over here, which after I clean this up, this is where I'll put my dirty dishes. And then I will proceed to go ahead and put clean dishwater in here because I don't have a dishwasher here in my house so everything has to be hand clean which I know for a lot of y'all are like oh man that's a bummer like I can't hand wash dishes well for me it's worth it uh, this whole juicing process is worth it especially with as simple as it makes it and I really only bought my juicer because I really wanted to make a lot of carrot juice because carrots have so many health benefits to it with the beta carotene good for your skin that sort of thing so I just wanted to add this quick little part in but let's go ahead and proceed to actually making this workstation look like we're ready to clean our juicer all right we see that our workstation is prepared I have some dishwater there ready to receive our juicer I have cleaned off my dish rack I emptied out all the dishes and put them back where they need to be I separated all my dirty dishes which is right there and finally, we're getting to the main event here, which is actually detaching and cleaning our juicer, which is I'm going to show you step by step. Now, detaching the juicer is really simple, okay? You have these two sides right here. We're going to lift up on them. We're going to take them down, all right? This is the first thing that we're going to do. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in my dishwater. As you can see, look at all that pulp that's actually on the inside. Um, you may actually want to just go ahead and take and scoop this out and put it inside the trash can. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that right now. Okay, then after I do that, we're going to, oh man, nasty. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and put this inside of our dish water. Get ready to get clean here. piece okay then we have this part the main part right here we're actually let me go ahead and actually take this out this is also another piece right here okay this is also another piece which is full of pulp as we can see there so I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in the trash can as well okay okay so as long as you have a system for um, juicing for cleaning your juicer taking care of it I don't think you should have any problem using it on a daily basis just want to go ahead and show you the other aspects to eliminate any excuses as to why if dish with washing dishes is your reason to block you from using this then I think that's going to be a very weak reason but to each his own okay all right now let's take our other parts now i also wanted to let you know that each part to this juicer is dishwasher ready so if you have a dishwasher go ahead and stick it in the dishwasher because trust me if i had one it'll be right there in the dishwasher but i don't so we're going to wash it by hand okay then this part right here we're going to lift up okay we're going to lift up and this part right here is taken out now this may be this is probably the hardest piece to clean because it's more of a strainer or a filter, if you will, metal filter with that actually shreds and that gets rid of all that pulp for you. So this will probably be the most difficult thing to clean. Then we have this part right here, which is going to be fairly simple. So, all right. Then this back part, this back part right here, you want to go ahead and just kind of see there's some pulp that actually got to the bottom there so we're going to go ahead and kind of kind of dust that off this is my least concern right now though we'll get back to actually doing something with that in a second let's go ahead and go to the actual dish sink oh, okay let's go to the dish sink okay all right
right, so now I'm going to go ahead and turn on some cold water for rinsing. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to clean each piece. Okay, this is the, one of the pieces right here. So each one is. Go ahead and clean this. Okay. All right, once we get done cleaning all these pieces, I'm going to go ahead and let them air dry. I'm not going to try to dry them off with a cloth. I'm going to go ahead and let them air dry. So this video will have segments in it that will go a span of, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes or so. That will be edited, of course. All right, now this was the hardest piece that I was saying. It's a bit tricky to clean, so I'm using my rag. So I have to come back. You may want to, if you have a nozzle, a snake, just take it and kind of do that. Rinse it off. Okay, I'm gonna show it over this. Okay. All right. you see there, we got rid of a lot of the pulp, but I still need to do some wiping to it. Which wiping it, you don't necessarily have to use the snake, but it, it makes it easier. But you can just pretty much like wipe it around a few times. Now be careful because the bottom part with the grater. It's, it's kind of sharp, so you want to be careful as you just wipe around it because you don't want to cut yourself. All right. Okay. And we got it back to pretty much a shiny state, so nothing too difficult there, but that was probably the hardest piece out of all the pieces, but still nothing too difficult. Alright, and this is the last piece here, so that needed to be clean. So, we only have four pieces that actually needed to be cleaned for the juicer. No big problems there at all. So, we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and let this air dry for, like I said, about 30 minutes. Um, and I guess I'll see you a little bit later in the video. Let me go ahead and wipe. Don't forget that that has to be wiped off too as well. So, but that's minor in comparison to making sure that those main pieces are clean. So, it's important that you clean your juicer on a daily basis. All right. Well, I'll see you a little bit later in the video. All right, everybody, our pieces have air dried completely. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to reattach from the back of the actual juicer because that's pretty much where you need to see how to put this back on, this piece, etc. I'm gonna show you how to attach this step by step from beginning to end, okay? Everything's still very simple. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this piece on first, okay? Then we're going to go ahead and all you have to do is push this in and just kind of push down on it till it snaps in place, which is already done, as you can see. Even if I lift up on it, it's not going to go anywhere. So this does this part really doesn't snap in place per se. This part does. So if you lift up on this, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and put this part on. Okay. All right. And then we have. Then I'm going to go ahead and fit that in there as well okay I'm going to push down on this everything is fairly simple now the last part that you have to do is just take these levers that's on the side you're going to hook them on this top part and push them in like so bam very easy very simple and this part right here is fairly optional you don't have to really put that in right now you know if you're still doing some other stuff this could be the very last thing that you need to put in the actual pusher 
but we want to make sure that it is completely clean. I actually, this was actually one of the pieces I forgot to take out of the dish rack, so I'm just making sure it's completely clean right now. But yeah, that's it. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen everything done from you seen everything done from deconstructing the juicer, um, cleaning it, putting it back together, how it actually works. So hopefully there's no excuses as to why you know you don't like to juice. Um, this makes the process fairly easy. For me personally, my needs and my desires for using it was just to make carrot juice, but who knows, I'm gonna probably throw something green, some other stuff in there, I don't really know yet, but carrot juice right now is what I was really going for. So hopefully this video has helped you out, been kind of an instruction manual, a visual instruction manual on how to use this product. If you're interested in purchasing it, you can, if you're looking at this from Facebook, just click on the link below or on top of this video. If you're looking at it from YouTube, just go into the show notes, the video notes, what have you, where it has the show more link, uh, where they provide uh, video notes at, and you can just get, click on the link from there and just purchase it off of Amazon. All right, well, this has been Deshaun Johnson. Go to my website, www.deshaunjohnson.com. Check out the content that I have there. See what you like about me. See what you don't. Um, and yeah, I, I accept all negative and positive. All right, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.